Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at the new status effect update and some leaks coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so first we are going to be looking at the new status effects, which I haven't actually seen or looked at them at all. So I assume we'd be able to see them inside of our pet book. So I guess we'll just look at Nebla right here and I guess they'll have a status effect that we can maybe see right here so i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna have to look so i guess you're kind of supposed to just like put on a random pet and it'll show up in battle maybe so i'll just go ahead and put on shiver stag here we'll go with ember shed and let's go ahead and battle the ice worm and i guess we should see some sort of status effects next to our spells so we are going up against flora fox and i do not remember this guy's name we are also going against the ice worm of course and i guess our wands and stuff don't really have status effects i don't know if that's going to always be the case but so let's see okay yeah so there are status effects right here i guess you might need to check your wands and relics to see if they have status effects um stuff on them but this is an effect called power up team which says boost your team's power stats for two turns so we also have this one which also gives us a power up but this one i guess is only for one turn so i guess this might only work on your team or on like shiver sag right here this one i guess works on all your team and it goes for two turns i don't know if it has like a sort of less boost or lower boost but from this i guess we should get yeah we'll get a little bit of a boost right here and it gives some sort of effect so um okay i guess ember shed doesn't have any of these spells with a status effect so yeah um yeah definitely does not have one so i guess shiver stag's the only one that does have one uh and i don't know if i might have checked shiver stag's um thing inside of the pet book it might show pets that do have status effects actually and i may have just been looking at it wrong but we'll have to go ahead and see it after this battle um let's see if this does a bit more damage than usual i don't really notice too much of a difference let's go ahead and use powered hail right here which will give us a boost or a power boost for one turn and we'll take out this guy so i think we're probably gonna lose this um shiver stag has like two different boosts which i guess would give it maybe like 10% more power or something like that. Um, I kind of have to go for the Ice Worm right here. I don't think that we're going to win this, as I said. So I'll see you guys once I finish this. Actually, let's go ahead and check this. So this does Frost, which deals a small amount of ice damage for two turns. And then this one doesn't have a status effect. So I guess let's go ahead and use Frost right here and see what happens there. So how much damage okay that's actually a lot of damage and it seems to only affect um okay actually yeah it does affect the ice worm it seems to have not of but i guess it was kind of just delayed or something like that or maybe it's after they do an attack maybe so let's go ahead and i guess we'll use shiverberg right here we're probably gonna lose this unless something crazy happens so yeah there we go there goes flora fox and that's just 455 so a bit of damage but yeah we lose so i guess i'll try and find some other pets that have this status effect update because i think it might only be for certain pets or maybe i just got really unlucky with ember shed so yeah, I'll try and find some more pets that have status effects. Alright, so I found another one, Sarah's Egg, right here. Um, they do an effect called Heal, which heals you a bit for two turns. 
So we also have Astral Boom Trap, which this does Astral Boom, which does huge Astral Damage in two turns. So we're going to go ahead and try out Sarah's Egg right here, and uh, I guess we'll see how much this is, what their definition of huge is, because if it's not like a thousand like we were doing to the Flora Fox right here, then it probably isn't that huge. So... We'll start off with going with our wizard, which, again, I don't know if wizards are able to do status effect spells. Um, I guess I'll check that after this battle. But as far as I know, only pets can do it. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll use this right here to give us a power boost. And I think that we can use this spell that'll give us the huge damage boost or the huge damage in like a turn. So yeah, we'll use Astral Boom right here, and we'll use it on the Ice Worm, so that... Okay, yeah, it's a really weak spell, it looks like. It only did 168 damage, but I guess this is what will do a bunch of damage. Maybe it'll do like 2,000 or something like that. So we'll just have to see what happens there. Our wizard is getting kind of low, so it's good that they went for the Sarah's Egg here. Let's go ahead and use... Magma waves right here, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and use uh, Power Hail on Floor Fox. I think that the bomb might go off in like one turn, so let's go ahead and we'll use this, which should heal our team. Um, so let's see what happens with that. So will all of us get a status effect? Or, okay, no, it's only this guy that gets to heal. So they heal for a lot of health right there. And that only did 1625 damage, so that's kind of not good. Um, it's kind of confusing, because that seems like it would have done a lot more damage, but it really didn't. So really, you're only doing about 1600 damage, which is less than what my wizard is doing. Although it could just be that my Sarah's Egg is on a really low level. I don't know if, like, the bombs have a correlation with what level the pet that does the attack, like, how much health, or what level they're on. I don't know if, like, if it's on a higher level, the bomb will do more damage, or if it'll do less damage if you're on a lower level. Um, I guess I'd have to do a little more testing to figure that out, but let's go ahead and use Star Storm 2 right here. And, okay, so that did a pretty good amount of damage. I think we're probably going to lose this, though. We're kind of low. So, the Ice Worm's going to go, and they miss. That's good. So, they'll take 977 damage. There goes our wizard. Yep. So, we're not in a great situation here. I guess we do have a shot at winning. So, we'll go ahead and use Shiverberg right here. And that should take out Rattlefang. Yep. So, it'll come down to a very close situation. We'll just have to see what happens here, so let's get the question right. And I guess we probably want to go for Sunlance 2. I don't know why it has 2 at the end of it. I don't know if there's a Sunlance 1. But yeah, there goes for a Fox, that's good. And then we just need the Ice Worm to die, so there goes Sarah's Egg. I don't know if there's, like, any satisfaction that we could use right here that would be, like, give us any advantage. So I guess we'll just use, uh, Power Smash 3. So I guess they might have just changed the name of a bunch of spells, because as you, I think pretty much every single spell that I've used has, like, one, two, or three at the end of it. So we have Frost Wave 3, and we have Powered Hail. So, I guess we'll go with uh, Power Hill right here. I don't think this will do enough damage. Yeah, it only does 207 somehow. So, yeah, there we go. We lost. So, I'm not really sure how much I love this. It could just be that my pets were bad, because I kind of think they were. But we do have some other stuff to look at that are leaked, so let's go ahead and check those out. Alright, so as I had said, we did get some new spells. We got this one, which is called Ice, Icicle Shards, Multi-Random. So, I guess pretty much all they did is they added multi-randoms for each element. So, we got this one, which is pretty much just Ice Shard, but with 
like three spells or five and it's a random so that's the same thing we got a new fire one which is a multi-random same thing for the astral same thing for the snow same thing for healing which i think this is the first time that we've gotten a healing spell that is a random which is pretty interesting we also got a new one called blunt a new spell called pierce or i guess this is just like the icon right here is what you'd see for pierce we also got another one for physical uh, we got this one for plant we got this one for shadow we got this one for storm this one for water which is pretty interesting um not the spell but like this icon i don't remember ever seeing something that looks like this in the game so that's a little weird and then we got another one for water all right now this is very interesting this is called button town moonlight so we are getting a new festival called moonlight fest i believe that's what they're going to be calling it and this will probably be coming in january this will sort of be like starlight festival but moonlight festival instead um it sort of seems to be carnival themed we'll get into that a little in a little bit um but yeah this is going to be the button that you see inside of uh the map so like right now if i were to go into the map right here it would be showing the Moonlight Festival icon here instead of what we have right now, which is the Winterfest one. So we also got some tile sets. So this is called Tile Set Generic Moonfest Night. So one of the things that we all notice is that everything seems to be a bit darker than usual, even darker than we saw inside of Pumpkin Fest and uh, Starlight Festival. So that is kind of the main thing about this. These flowers up here may look updated. They kind of do to me. Um, right here, the uh, boxes, I guess they are, that we'd see in the bottom zone of Lamplight Town, these have been updated to have fireworks and uh, bombs inside of them. That's kind of odd. Um, up here, I believe I saw something else that looked a little interesting. No, I didn't actually. But right here, this sort of looks like a circus tent. It has some stars and some moons on it. So that's why I sort of believe this is going to be circus themed. Now we also got this tile set, which is called Tile Set Moonlight Extras Night. So this is basically just the Harmony Island Arena. It is obviously in Lamplight Town, so it has to have stuff updated. So this is what it's going to look like during Moonlight Festival. And then we have the big uh, tile set, which is pretty much all of them by town. This is called Tile Set Town Moonfest Night. So let's go ahead and we will check some of this out. So we have right here the sign for Moonlight Festival, which will be uh, just a moon and then some text right here. We also have some stuff that sort of seems to be circus related right here. Uh, we got some clubs, I believe they're called. We got some rings. We have a bunny in a hat. We have some, I guess these are cannonballs, and we have a cannon right here. We also have a wagon with some hay in it. This cannonball appears to be in the ground. And then we have some moon lanterns right here. We have a food displays in that are at the bottom of Lamplight Town. These are going to be updated to have stars, moons. I don't even know what these are. These are probably like cookies or something like that. And then we have one for a circus tent, um, some clowns, some moons. I don't know what, they're kind of like wheels. And then we have some stars right here, some moons, stars, clouds, and not sure what these are over here. Now, the dragon that we see in the top left of Lamplight Town, this is going to be updated to be a unicorn for Moonlight Festival. We also see some more of the circus tent stuff right here and right here. And then we'll have some banners that have some moons and clouds on them. So yeah, if we keep going down, the dinosaur that is in Lamplight Town will be updated to be owing during Moonlight Festival like we saw, I believe, in Pumpkin Fest. Now we also, if we keep going down, there's not really anything interesting right here. The windows are going to be updated to look like this. 
pretty much exactly what we saw during Pumpkin Fest. We have some decorations right here. I don't think either of these actually are ever used in games, so I don't know why they're here. We have a unicycle down here, and then we have some like confetti on the ground. Uh, I, these kind of look like weights. I'm not sure what they are supposed to be. These kind of look like coins. Not sure what they're supposed to be though. Um, here we have some more confetti. We have a lantern. We have a Billy Foot dog. We have another lantern. Some, I guess this is sort of like a teapot. This sort of looks like a paper boat. Uh, we have some cookies, I guess, right here. Some balloons and a drum. And then we have, I guess this may be our NPC that we see right here. I guess that's what they could end up looking like. We haven't seen what they're going to look like, but I guess this is what he could look like. We have some apples, or maybe those are oranges. There's some more flowers right here. We have a dark moon, some, and some more moon lanterns. And then we have some green stuff right here, which I have no idea what that is supposed to be. So yeah, this is pretty surprising. I wasn't expecting it to be like circus themed or anything like that, but it does look pretty cool. And another thing that this could probably mean absolutely nothing, but it could also be an indicator that we're getting hard mode coming tomorrow, although I don't think it's likely at this point. Um, so we did get something called Endgame Quest Banner Go to Academy was updated to say place keystones instead of go to Academy. And then it says end game quest banner defeat puppet master defeat the puppet master so that was added which could sort of be something that we could see if the puppet master in hard mode is actually coming tomorrow um i don't really think it will but we'll just have to wait and see so yeah we should be able to expect moonlight festival to come sometime in january as it's supposed to be like sort of a new year's update but yeah, that is going to go ahead and end the video. Let me know what you guys think about this new status of X update. What you think you will, we will be seeing inside of Moonlight Fest. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and bye.